My name is Jonathan Bean. I'm a clinical application specialist with Hamilton Medical. And in this section, we're going to learn how to turn the ventilator on and off and make initial ventilator settings, including modes, controls, and alarms. First, select the patient group. Adult pediatric is for adult and pediatric patients down to three kilograms. Or select neonatal for newborns up to 30 kilograms. And you can also select last patient which just inputs the settings from the last time the ventilator was used, so don't use that on new patients. Down here, you'll want to put in the patient information. Uh, select male or female, and dial in the patient's height. This allows the ventilator to automatically calculate the patient's ideal body weight, which is used for some initial ventilator settings and alarms, and also is used in ASV mode. In between are three configurable quick setup buttons for each patient group. A quick setup refers to a group of settings you define including patient characteristics, including group and weight, mode selection, some control settings, alarm settings, and winning zone limits. Next, touch the modes tab to enter the modes menu and select your mode. In the top section we have volume controlled adaptive modes versus synchronized controlled mandatory ventilation. Next is synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation. In the next section we have the pressure controlled biphasic modes including pressure controlled ventilation, pressure controlled synchronized intermediate ventilation, spont mode for pressure support ventilation, dual PAP or dual positive airway pressure mode, and APRV airway pressure release ventilation. Next we have ASV mode, which is adaptive support ventilation. In the bottom section are the non-invasive modes, NIV or non-invasive ventilation and non-invasive spontaneous timed ventilation. Select your mode, select confirm. This opens the controls window where you're al allowed to Put in the settings for each mode. Confirm the modes and settings, and you can see you've now changed modes. Okay, before ventilation, you might want to adjust the alarm, so touch the alarms tab to open the alarms window. Across the top, you'll see the upper alarm limits, and across the bottom, the lower alarm limits. To adjust a limit, select the one you like to change and confirm. There's also a limits to window where you'll find other alarms such as your entitled CO2 alarm. And then there's also a buffer screen where you can view your most recent alarm occurrences. And once you've viewed those, you can just hit reset and that clears the buffer window. And then just close the alarms tab. To start the ventilator, Simply press start ventilation on the screen. The ventilator will automatically start with the alarm silence activated. And after a couple of moments, you'll see your monitored values appear. To make another setting change while ventilating, your basic ventilator settings are here on the right. So just touch the basic ventilator setting you would like to change and confirm.